In this video, I'm going to make n acetate, also known as propyl ethanoate. The chemical formula is shown above. Esters are known for their special smell, and in this case, n acetate is known to have smells of pear drops. The pear that we are talking about is western pear and not Asian pear. In Korea, it's really hard to get western pear, and I never tasted one. In my case, and propiacetate smell like nail polisher, which is definitely not pleasant thing to smell. And if western pear smell or taste like nail polisher, I would never try to taste it. So for the procedure, prepare ice bath. Pour 29ml of acetic in hydride in the round bottom flask. Flask size doesn't matter, it just needs to be larger than 100ml. Then into the flask, slowly add 5 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid. This works at a catalyst. Use the most concentrated sulfuric acid you have, since any water present will break down acetic and hydride and ester you made in the reaction by equilibrium, thus lowering the yield. I only have 95%, so I just used it. Alternatively, you can use silica sulfuric acid or SSA for short. Silica sulfuric acid is a solid acid and can be made by reacting sulfuric acid, silica, and evaporating water at about 120 to 180 degrees Celsius. SSA is a solid acid, meaning that you can minimize the addition of water through into the reaction, thus increasing the yield. Into the flask, add 14.4 grams of 1 propanol dropwise. This reaction is extremely exothermic and you should add it slowly. This is the reason why we set up the ice bath. Addition takes pretty long time and don't forget to replenish ice bath. The reaction is shown above. Carbonyl on the carbon in acetic and hydride is attacked by the oxygen on the alcohol. Then this complicated reaction happens and finally you can get ester bond making propyl acetate. After the addition, take the ice bath out and change it to warm water bath. I just use hot water from electric kettle and let the mixture sit in 70 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. I attach condenser without water running to prevent water from going to the reaction flask. After about 10 minutes, 20 ml of cold water is added. Mixture is poured into a separatory funnel. Then round bottom flask is washed with about 20 ml of water. Shake the separatory funnel vigorously with venting. Aqueous layer which consists of water, acetic acid, sulfuric acid is denser than our target and propyl acetate. So after letting the layer settle, bottom aqueous layer is discarded. Pour saturated sodium bicarbonate solution. This is to neutralize any acetic anhydride or other acids in the organic layer. You really don't need to titrate this thing and make it neutral, just make sure to neutralize all the acetic anhydride. You don't want your ester to smell like vinegar. In my previous synthesis, the smell of ester was overwhelmed by the smell of acetic anhydride, so I just used super saturated sodium bicarbonate solution. Neutralization is very vigorous. CO2 is released in the process, so frequent venting is necessary. Pressure will build up in the separatory funnel and you can hear the sound of gas release. Make sure to vent frequently. After letting the layer settle, bottom aqueous layer is discarded. Add saturated sodium chloride solution. This is to pull out water in the organic layer. Shake the separate turn funnel and this was also discarded. 
Lastly, set up a simple distillation. Crank up the heat to about 150 degrees Celsius. Since the boiling point of propyl acetate, which is 103 degrees Celsius, is very close to the boiling point of water, so some water will come over. I discarded the first few drops, and later that, I started to collect and propyl acetate. There was some water present at the distillant, so I added anhydrous potassium carbonate. This is to remove trace water present. You can use calcium chloride, silica gel, or magnesium sulfate. The end product is N propyl acetate. It has a really strong smell of nail polisher. You can use other alcohol such as 1 butanol for apple and honey smell, or 1 pantanol for banana and apple smell. So this is it for this video and always thanks for watching.